Milwaukee, last year's two-year-old champ, the Kentucky Derby betting favorite, the second choice at the Preakness at 3-1. to one. Martin Garcia up, trained by Hall of Famer Bob Baffert, who saddled four Preakness winners with Silver Charm, Real Quiet, Point Given, and War Emblem. One, they have one the for the thumb. Why do they have the back of my hand? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> 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 you do a 360 for a while. I'm glad I didn't have to follow wing Luke. That's, that's tough. But, uh, we're just here today, and uh, I think the uh, after the derby, like Wayne was saying, you know, it's intense, and they treat us so great here. But uh, I think the Preakness is a race where the, the guys that got beat, it's sort of like the what if. What if I would have gotten to this? or whatever, so we, we get another chance of maybe redeeming ourselves and coming in this race and maybe, you know, maybe we did uh, need some more luck. So um, it's good to be back here. It's, uh, I always enjoy it here. Win, lose, or draw, we always have a good experience. And that's one thing about Pimlico. They, they do a great job of taking care of us. And the minute you get off the plane, even though I had to take a cab yesterday. <laughs> but, uh, but it's one of those things where uh, we just enjoy it here. We enjoy it, and everybody's nice. You never have to, you don't have to fight for anything. Uh, it's not like Churchill down. you got to fight for every little thing you want. So, uh, but we're glad to be here. Bob, your trip at the Derby looked like 5.30 on the Beltway. Uh, I guess you're hoping for a, a better run this time. Well, if it, if it would have been a boxing match, it would have been over in the first round. I mean, it would have been called. But, uh, you know, those things happen. That's what the Derby is. I've been lucky enough to win it. And, I know there's other people that probably could have wanted to have a bad trip, so that's part of racing. You just got to, you know, take the good with the bad, and uh, just and you just move on to the next the, the next uh, race, which is a Pimlico here, and it just it's good to be here. I got my uh, got Mike Pegram back in action. We got the, the Car Boys, uh, Carl Watson, Paul Whiteman from uh, Tucson, Arizona, and then we have my brother Bill for entertainment. So uh, thanks good morning. Wouldn't be a brief this without Bill. He'll, he hasn't been here for a while, so we're, we're trying to do something different here to get the life change here. Bob, a little bit on, on, on your jockey, 25-year-old kid who you've had a lot of success with. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, this year we've really been uh, clicking together. Our win percentage is high. He's, everywhere I send him, he wins for me, and I thought, you know, we're going to try to change your luck. And uh, so hopefully, he, he knows the horse really well. He's worked the horse uh, probably more time than Garrett's been on his back. He has a lot of confidence in the horse. And so, uh, but it's, it's, it's a big step for him. He's, he's young and uh, it's his first preakness. It's, I'm sure he'll have butterflies and he'll be nervous, but uh, you know, it's a good experience for him and, and hopefully maybe he can uh, make something happen because we, if we're going to be super saver, we need something to happen. You know, we just got to, we need, we need more than a clean run. We need, a, I think he's a very good horse. I think he was a very deserving derby winner. And so uh, he's the horse to be. How do you assess the rest of the field? Well, we've got to worry about Wayne Lucas always, because right when Wayne, you think he's out of it, <laughs> comes he, just, he comes right back, you know, he's like the phoenix, and so... Um, he's like a bad cold. Like a bad cold. Handshake. Handshake. But, uh, you know, you got to, you know, Wayne, you can never throw him out, he always shows up. He's like Cal Morrell, you know, after, after the derby, that, that freaking Calvin, you know, he's just doing it to him. But, uh, I mean, there's other nice horses that you've got. Uh, the California, Wachowski, Carter Cortado, I think he's a very good horse. Uh, California horses have held their form pretty well. And, uh, you know, you just don't know. There are a lot of horses that, you know, didn't get a break. We've got new shooters in there. We don't know about it. And uh, I remember uh, I came with War Emblem, the horse that ran second. It was a, I think it was a local. Hey, hey. Magic Wizard. Magic Wizard, you got beat. I got beat in the Derby. Yeah, the Freakness. Remember that long shot? We were one two. We missed the exact <laughs> But you never know when the, uh, the local horses can jump up and run a big race. So it's, it's nobody really knows. It's a different kind of track. But the thing is, we're here to have fun, and, and hopefully we'll see what the what the horse. And we just want to. I just want to be able to watch, looking at Lucky, just come around there, you know, and see what he's really made of, and. and and get a clear trip, so that's what we're hoping for. And, and Bob, you said you're not going to run looking at Lucky in the Belmont, right? This is his last chance at Triple Crown. Yeah, I probably won't run him there. You know, I'm gonna, I'll just probably uh, just freshen him up for later on this summer. Mike, what was it? Magic Wisner. Ma Magic Wisner. Right? Magic Wisner. Yeah. 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 Number seven, second betting choice, Bob Baffert.